Greetings! Manta Ray 79 here! And welcome back to another deck profile video for... Card Fight Vanguard Deer Days! Alrighty, let's get started. Pressing the A button now. Loading game and proceeding. Here we are in the main menu, off to edit deck menu. And now in today's video, the deck profile I'm going to be making one for is a Keter Sanctuaries, Omniscience Regalia, Minerva, D Booster 10. Alright, let's get started. So going to the deck, selecting edit deck, and off we go. Here we are in the edit deck menu. And like I just mentioned before, the deck I'm building today's deck profile video is a Keter Sanctuaries, Omniscience Regalia, Minerva, D deck made up of cards only available up until D Booster 10. Okie dokie, let's get started. Selecting the filter settings, go into pack, show only cards from, D Booster 1, Genesis of the Five Greats, D Booster 2, Rush of the Legends, D Booster 3, Advance of Intertwined Stars, D Booster 4, Awakening of Shaka Barty, D Booster 5, Triumph of Return of Brave Heroes, Festival Collection 2021, Festival Collection 2022, Pro Pack number 1, D Booster 6, Blazing Dragon Reborn, D Booster 7, Raging Flame Against Emerald Storm, D Booster 8, Minerva Rising, D Booster 9, Dragon Tree Invasion, and D Booster 10, Dragon Masquerade. Applying filters, filters applied, let's get started. First up, the Grade 3 lineup. And now, for the Grade 3 lineup. For the Grade 3s in this deck, we are playing Ride Deck, Grade 3, Omniscience Regalia, Minerva. Skills, first skill, continuous as a vanguard. During your turn, if your soul has a Grade 3 card with Regalia in its card name, all of your front row units gets plus 5,000 power. Second skill, action as a vanguard, once per turn, cost, soul blast 1. If the cost and paint, look at the top card of your deck, put it on top of your deck, or into your soul. Third skill, auto as a vanguard, once per turn. At the end of battle, this unit attacks. If your opponent's vanguard is grade 3 or greater, cost, counter blast 1 and soul blast 3. And discard a card with only Genesis for its clan from hand. If the cost and paint, stand this unit and it gets drive minus 1 until end of turn. So for Minerva, she's the main grade 3 to ride in this deck. Her skill is the first skill. When the conditions of the first skill are met, your entire front row, re including your vanguard and rear guard, gets plus 5,000 power, giving you more power to work with. And the second skill, by paying the cost, you can preview the top card of your deck to either to leave it on top of your deck or to use it to build up your soul for later soul blasting. And the third skill, after attacking, when the conditions of the skill are met, you pay the cost, you can reset your vanguard for another attack. And alright, the great three, Omniscience Regalia Minerva, we have 4 in the deck, 1 in the right deck, 3 in the main deck, up next the great three, Regalia, Wisdom, Angelica, Skill, Auto as a rear guard, at the end of battle scene attacked, if you have a vanguard of Minerva in its card name, cost, soul blast 1, if the cost and paint, choose one of your vanguards, and it gets plus 5,000 power until end of turn, then, cost, put this unit into your soul, if the cost and paint, counter charge 1. So for Angelica, a support card for the murder of her deck for skill, after attacking, while the conditions of the skill are met and you pay the cost, not only do you get to give your vanguard a little extra power to work with, but you can also build up your soul for later soul blasting and to also refund your counter blast for later skills. Okie dokie, the great three, Regalia of Wisdom Angelica, we have four in the deck. And next, the great three, normal order, Gradia Gradel. Skills, first skill, Regulus Piece. You may only have one Regulus Piece in your deck and use it a total of one time in a fight. Second skill, Order. Play this if you have a Grade 3 Vanguard with Persona Ride and you do not ride this turn. Activate Persona Ride. Draw a card. All of your front row units get plus 10,000 power this turn and you have regard to a Persona Road. So for Gradia Gradel, a powerful Order card to play in the D standard format with its skills, but by playing this Order card while well, the conditions that are met, you can activate the Persona Ride effect, which is drawing more cards, giving your entire front row, Vanguard Rear included, a huge boost of power, and any skills that require you to have Persona Road that turn, this Order card can then substitute that effect to get, let you activate those skills. And affirmative, the Great 3, Grand Grand, we have one in the deck. And at that, we just about covered the deck's Great 3 lineup. Next, let's get on to the deck's Great 2 lineup. And now, for the Great 2 lineup. For the Great 2s in this deck, we are playing Ride Deck, Great 2, Witch of Raven's Chamomile. Skills, first skill, auto. When this unit is rolled upon by a unit with only Genesis for its clan, look at the top 5 cards of your deck, choose up to 2 cards from among them, put them into your soul, and shuffle your deck. 
Second skill, auto. When this card is put from soul into drop during your turn, if you have a vanguard of Minerva in its card name, cost counterblast one. If the cost is paid, call this card to rear guard. Silver so Chamomile, she's the main great team to ride in this deck. Her skills, the first skill, when ridden on top of by a Genesis unit, you can check the top five cards of your deck for up to two cards to add to your soul for later soul blasting. Second skill, when moved from soul into drop during your turn, if the conditions of the skill are met and you pay the cost, you can superior call Camille to serve as a potential front row rear guard. And alright, the great two, which of Raven's Camille we have? Four in the deck, one in the right deck, three in the main deck, up next the great two, Spiral Cutie Angel. Skills, first skill, auto. When this card is discarded from hand during your right phase, cost Soul Blast 1, and put this unit in the bottom of your deck. If the cost is paid, draw a card. Second skill, auto. When this unit is placed on rear guard, if your persona roll this turn, cost Counter Blast 1. If the cost is paid, look at the top two cards of your deck, choose a card from among them, put it into your hand, put the rest on the top or bottom of your deck. So for Spiral Cutie Angel, a pretty powerful great tool to play in your Keter Sanctuary Nation decks with skills to first skill, when paying for the right deck cost by, by paying an additional cost of Soul Blast 1, not only do you get to draw a card, you can also send Spiral Cutie to the bottom of your deck, thereby delaying the possibility of getting decked out. And the second skill, when called to the, on the rear guard, while the conditions of the skill are meant you pay the cost, you have the chance to check the top two cards of your deck, add one to your hand, and then put the remaining card in either the top of the bottom of your deck, making a good way to not only restock your hand, but also to preview the next card you drive check, to either to have an increased chance of, chance of getting a trigger or to simply get a card you need for later in the game. And okie dokie, the great two, Spiral Q, the Angel, we have four in the deck. And next up, the great two, Knight of DD, the great Tasis. Skills, first skill, auto. When this unit is placed on the rear guard, if you have a vanguard of only Genesis for its clan, look at the top three cards of your deck, choose up to one card from among them, put it into your soul, and put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. Second skill, auto is the rear guard. At the end of the battle, this unit attacked. If you have a vanguard of Minerva in its card name, cost soul last one and retire this unit. If the cost is paid, choose a card from hand or drop, put it into your soul. If you put from hand, draw a card. So for Thesis, a support card for the Minerva deck with skills to first skill, when called to the rear guard while the conditions of the skill are met, you have the chance to check the top 3 cards of your deck to add 1 to your soul to build up for later soul blasting. Second skill, by after attacking while the conditions of the skill are met and you pay the cost, you have the chance to add either a specific card from hand or drop into soul, thereby making it easier to either to build up your soul for later soul blasting or to secure a specific card you need for your soul for your next game, next game strategy. And affirmative, the great two, Knight of DD, the great Tasis. We have four in the deck. And at that, we just about covered the deck's great two lineup. Next, let's get on to the deck's great one lineup. And now for the great one lineup. For the great ones in this deck, we are playing right deck, great one, which of Frog's Melissa. Skills, first skill, auto. When this unit is rolled upon by a unit with only Genesis for its clan, look at the top five cards of your deck. Choose up to two cards from among them, put them into soul and shuffle your deck. Second skill, auto. When this card is put into drop from soul, if you have a vanguard of Minerva in this card name, call this card to the back row rear circle. If you called it, you may soul charge one. So for Melissa, she's the main great one to ride in this deck. Her skills of her skill, when ridden on top of by a Genesis unit, you can check the top five cards to your deck for up to two cards to add to your soul for later soul blasting. Second skill, when moved from soul into drop zone while the conditions of the skill are met, not only do you get to superior call Melissa as a back row booster, but you can also soul charge to build up your soul for later soul blasting. Alrighty, the great one, which of Frog's Melissa we have? Four in the deck, one in the right deck, three in the main deck. Next up, the great one, Aegis Mare Dragon, Sentinel, Perfect Guard. Skills, first skill, Continuous Sentinel. You may only have up to four cards of Continuous Sentinel in the deck. Second skill, Auto. When this unit is put in the Guardian Circle, choose one of your units and cannot be hit until end of battle. If your hand has two or more cards, choose a card from hand and discard it. So for Aegis Mare, a perfect guard for the Keter Sanctuary Nation, like any other perfect guard in the Kart Fight Vanguard Train Guard game, it features the same skill activation, which is, when used to guard with, discard a card from hand, you can block an enemy attack. But it also features an ability unique to all perfect guards in a D standard format, which is, when used to guard with, while you have less than two cards in hand, you will not have to pay the usual discard one cost, making Aegis Mare a potential no cost perfect guard in desperate last resort situations. And affirmative, the Great One, Aegis Mare Dragon, we have 3 in the deck. Next up, the Great One, Blitz Order, Elementary Sanitude. Skills, first skill, Continuous Sentinel. You may only have up to 4 cards of Continuous Sentinel in the deck. Second skill, Continuous. You may only have 1 Elementary Sanitude in the deck. Third skill, Order. 
If your opponent's Vanguard has triple drive, this ability can be played without paying the cost. Play this if it costs up, discard a card from hand if your Vanguard is grade 3 or less. If the cost is paid, choose one of your units and it cannot be hit until end of battle. Move this card. So for Elementary Sanitude, it's the Blitz Order version of the Perfect Guard. Like any other Perfect Guard in the Card Fight Vanguard Trading Card game, it features the same skill of activation, which is when played, discard a card from hand, you can block an enemy attack. But ideally, Elementary Sanitude works best against opponents who play decks that specialize in having vanguards of triple drive, for example, Great Fours, G Units, or vanguards who have their drive checks increased by skill or card effect. Against such opponents, Elementary Sanitude then can serve as a potential no cost perfect guard. And alright, the great one, Elementary Sanitude. We have one in the deck. And next, the great one, Apple Witch Cider. Skills, first skill, auto as a rear guard. At the end of the battle, that'll this unit boost it. If you have a Vanguard Minerva in its card name, you may return this card to, the, to your hand. Second skill, auto. When this unit is put in the Guardian Circle, if your soul has a grade 3 card for Regalia in its card name, this unit gives us 5,000 shield until end of battle. So for Cider, a support card for the Minerva deck for skills to first skill. After boosting attack, while the conditions of her skill are met, you can return Minerva from your rear guard to your hand to serve for your late game strategy. And a second skill, when used to guard with, while the conditions of the skill are met, Cider then can serve as a potential 10,000 point shield on her own. And confirm the great one, Apple Witch Cider. We have four in a deck. And of that, we just about covered the deck's great one lineup. Next, let's get on to the great zero lineup. And here we are, the great zero lineup. For the great zeros in this deck, we are playing Ride Deck, Great Zero, Vivid Rabbit. Skill Auto. When this unit is rolled upon, if you went second, draw a card. So for Vivid Rabbit, it's the starting unit of this deck, and like any other starting unit in the D standard format, she features the same skill and activation, which is when you ride on top of it, you can draw more cards. And alright, the great zero, Vivid Rabbit. We have one in the Ride Deck. And of that, we just about covered the deck's great zero lineup. Next, let's get on to the trigger lineup. And now for the trigger lineup. For the triggers in this deck, we are playing Great Zero, Light Dragon DD Honors, Amortonia, Over Trigger. Skill, Trigger, Additional Effect. Until end of turn, you also perform drive checks for the battles your rear guards attack. So for Amortonia, the Over Trigger for the Keter Sanctuary Nation. Like any other Over Trigger in the Card Fight Banger Training Card game, it features the same skill and activation, which is when revealed during a drive check or damage check, you get 100 million power and draw one card. But it also features an ability unique to it alone, which is when revealed during a drive check on your turn, for the rest of that turn, your rear guards can also perform drive checks for their attacks, thereby giving you the increased chances of getting triggers or to restock your hand of the additional drive checks. Alrighty, the Great Zero, Light Dragon DD Honors, Amatonia, Over Trigger, we have one in the deck. Next, the Great Zero, White Fang Witch, Dizma, Critical Trigger, we have four in the deck. Next up, the Great Zero, Blade Feather Dragon, Critical Trigger. Skill, Auto as a rear guard. At the end of battle, unit boosted. Cost, put this unit to your soul. If the cost is paid, choose one of your units, and it gets plus 2,000 power until end of turn. So for Blade Feather, a powerful critical trigger to play in your Keter Sanctuary Nation decks with its skill. After boosting attack, regardless if the attack hits or not, as long as you don't mind being Blade Feather from your rear guard to your soul, not only do you get to build up your soul for their soul blasting, but you can also give the remaining attackers in your field, Vanguard Rear Guard, a little extra power to work with. And okie dokie, the Great Zero, Blade Feather Dragon, Critical Trigger, we have four in the deck. Next up, the Great Zero, Protection Magic, Parabi, Draw Trigger, Skill, Continuous as a Guardian. If your opponent's Vanguard is grade three or greater, this unit gives plus 5,000 shield. So for Parabi, a powerful draw trigger to play in your Keter Sanctuary Nation decks with its skill, when used to guard with while the conditions of the skill are met, Parabi then can serve as a potential 10,000 point shield on her own. Affirmative, the Great Zero, Protection Magic, Parabi, Draw Trigger, we have... Three in a deck. Next, the Great Zero, Invigorate Sage, Heal Trigger. Skill, Auto, when this unit is placed on the Guardian Circle, if your opponent's attacking unit has attacked two or more times this turn, this unit gets plus 15,000 shield until end of battle. Activate if this battle is a second attack this turn or more. So for Invigorate Sage, a powerful heal trigger to play in your Keter Sanctuary Nation decks with skill. When used to guard with, while well, the conditions of the skill are met, Invigorate then can serve as a potential 25,000 point shield on his own. Ideally, Invigorate Sage is a counter heal, best played against opponents who play decks that specialize in restanding attacking multiple times their units, Vanguard or Rear Guard. Confirm the Great Zero Invigorate Sage heal trigger. We have two in a deck. 
And next to Grade Zero, Hardiness Tier Sorceress Heal Trigger. Skill Auto. When this unit is put in the Guardian Circle, if the attacking unit's critical is 2 or greater, and its critical is increased by a non-trigger effect ability, or its original critical is 2 or greater, this unit gives us 15,000 shield until end of battle. So for Hardiness Tier Sorceress, another powerful heal trigger to play in your Keter Sanctuary Nation deck saver skill. When used to guard with, while the conditions of her skill are met, Hardiness Tier then can serve as a potential 25,000 point shield on her own. Ideally, Hardiness Tier Sorceress is a counter heal, best played against opponents who play decks that specialize in increasing their attacking units critical, vanguard or rear guard by skill or card effect. And alright, the Great Zero, Hardiness Tier Sorceress, heal trigger, we have two in a deck. And of that, we just about covered the deck's trigger lineup. And with that, the deck's been built, card effects explained. For the cards in this deck, we are playing four, Great Three. Omniscience Regalia, Minerva. Four, Grade Three, Regalia, Wisdom, Angelica. One, Grade Three, Gradia, Gradel. Four, Grade Two, Witch of Ravens, Chamomile. Four, Grade Two, Spiral Cutie Angel. Four, Grade Two, Knight of he Deity Decree, Tasis. Three, Grade One, Aegis Mare Dragon. One, Grade One, Elementary Sanitude. Four, Grade One, Witch of Frogs, Melissa. Four, Grade One, Apple Witch Cider. One Grade Zero Vivid Rabbit starting unit, and for the triggers in this deck we are playing one Grade Zero Over Trigger Amertonia, eight Critical Triggers, three Draw Triggers, and four Heal Triggers. Okie dokie, the deck's been built, the, the, the card effects explained, now let's get on to testing out the deck. And here we are, back in the main menu, going to test out the deck, so going over to the fight menu, going to CPU fight, selecting the deck I just showcased to you, the Keter Sanctuaries, Omniscience Regalia, Minerva, D-Booster Tang deck, and okie dokie, selecting the deck, choosing my opponent. For the opponent, I'm going to test it out on, I think I'm going to use it against, Lyrical Monasterias, Yui Itabashi, normal difficulty, and click! And the battle begins! Let's get started! Here we are in the fight, we're gonna decide who goes first, so rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Scissors, paper, I win, going first! Drawing up starting hands, I got myself a draw trigger, oval trigger, cider, critical trigger, and Melissa. This is not a good starting hand. Holding on to Cider, we draw everything else. We draw! Not too bad. Camille, Heal, Perfect Guard, and Thesis. My turn, draw. I ride for the for the right from the right deck, which your frost Melissa. Discarding for the right deck cost a chamomile, discard, and ride, Melissa! End of my turn. My opponent's turn. Opponent rides the great one. Laura Norrell. Start a skill, she draws a card. What? Ba battle phase, banger to banger, 8k, no guard. no guard, and drive check, no trigger, safe, 1 damage. Ow! Damage, damage check. check, no trigger, ah, Persona Ride, not good! And if my opponent's turn, my turn, draw! I ride for the right deck, Witch of Raven's Chamomile, for the right deck cost, discarding, heal trigger, invigorate sage, ride, Chamomile! Skill of Melissa, check the top cards of my deck to add to soul. Come on, something good. I am adding to the soul a Regalia of Wisdom Angelica and Chamomile into soul. Next, I call Thesis to rear guard. Call! Thesis is skill. Look at the top cards of my deck. I add another Angelica to soul, the rest go in the bottom. I call Cider to rear guard. Call! That should be enough. On to battle phase. Vanguard of Vanguard, 10k! He tackles through! Drive check! No trigger, Camille! And... 
Boom! Damage check. No trigger, safe. Now boosted by Cider. Thesis attacks the Vanguard. 18k. He tackles through and pierce. Damage check. Yes, critical trigger. She wasted a trigger. Critical and power added. And. End of my turn, my opponent's turn. My opponent rides the Great Two, Lord Or. Skill the Great One, searching deck for an order cart. Romantic Happiness, deploying it to order zone. Deploying another order cart, matter it one way into order zone. Calling to the rear guard, Esmeralda and Audrey. Audrey attacks the Vanguard. Hmm. No guard taking it. No guard. Ow! Damage check. No trigger, Melissa. Vanguard, Vanguard. No guard taking it. No guard. She drive checks. No trigger, safe, so one damage. Ow! Damage check. No trigger, perfect guard. The remaining rear guard cannot attack, so. End of their turn, my turn. Stand and draw! I arrive from the right deck, Omniscience, Regalia, Minerva. Right deck costs, I am discarding. A, let's see, in my soul, I have a chamomile and a Melissa. I think I am going to, let's see, in my drop zone, I have one chamomile, so. Discarding chamomile from hand to right. Minerva, skill of my vanguard chamomile. Check the top cards of my deck to add to soul. I add Melissa and... I guess Cider into the head, into the soul. Next, I call Thesis to rear guard. Call Thesis a skill. Look at the top cards of my deck. I add Spiral Cutie into Soul. The rest go to the bottom. And I have let's see, two Melissa, one Melissa, and two Chamomiles. So I call. I am going to call a Melissa to the back row, and that ought to do it. Well, hold on, activating Vanguard skill. I Soul Blast Melissa. Revealing the top card of my deck, a critical trigger, leaving it on top. Calling Melissa to the back row. Calling. Not activating Soul Charge, go into battle phase. First, my Thesis unboosted attacks the rear guard Esmeralda. 15k to 8k. He tackles through, Pierce. One less rear guard to worry about. Thesis is skill. Soul Blast 1, I Soul Blast Vivid Rabbit. Self Retreat my Thesis. And. Putting a card from drop into soul, I add another chamomile. Next, my vanguard boosted by Melissa attacks the vanguard. 26k. The attack goes through. Twin drive, first check. Yes, critical trigger. Giving critical to vanguard and power to the back row cider. Critical up. Power up. And second check. Yes! Double critical! Critical to Vanguard. Power to the left side, Thesis. Critical up, and power up. Boom! Two damage. First. No trigger. Second check. Ah! Critical trigger. It's fine. I planned for this. That's why I didn't go all out at the beginning. Saving up until my, I can use my re-stand skill next turn. Thesis. Hold up. Third check. Ah, heal trigger, yep, called it. Now up to 30k, so... Boosted by Melissa, my Thesis on the left attacks the rear guard. No, attacking the vanguard, no, no. 33k to 30k, 5k to guard. Intercept, 35k. The attack fails, but now I'm activating my Thesis skill, Soul Blast 1, Soul Blasting. Chamomile from Soul, self retreat. Placing a card from drop into Soul. 
I move... Hmm... One of the cow meals and drop into soul. The one that I, that I soul blasted skill, counter blast one. Superior call to rear guard. Call. Boosted by Cider. Cow meal attacks the Vanguard. 33k. He tackles through and. Boom. Damage check. No trigger, safe. At the end of the battle, Cider goes back to hand. End of my turn, my bullet's turn! She rides to grade 3, Heartfelt Song, Lord all. Skill grade 2, searching deck for matter at one way, adding it to order zone, runaway skill, draws a card. Lord all skill, sings a song, singing... Singing Romantic Happiness, powers up and draws. Calling to the rear guard, a... LB, Esmeralda, and Racius. Powering up. This is not good. This deploying another set order. Matter it one way. Draw a card. Vanguard. 13k to Vanguard. Hmm. I gotta let the rear guard go through. Block the Vanguard, maybe. So, hold on. No, wait. No, blocking the first attack in the Vanguard. We'll see how the rest goes. Guard with. Um, hmm. Hold on, let's see. Intercept with Camille. Intercept, 18k. Attack blocked, and... Kachink, safe. Next, Vanguard, Vanguard, 28k. No guard, taking it. Twin drive, first check. No trigger, safe. Second check. Ah, critical trigger. Critical the Vanguard and power the rear guard. Two damage to me, here it comes. Is it out? Damage. damage check first. No trigger. Second check. Damage check. Critical trigger. Critical trigger. I give all effects to Vanguard. Critical plus. Power plus. And now the remaining rear guard. Nope, she cannot go through, so my turn, stand and draw. Ah, uh, another critical. Go in the main phase. In my soul, I have, let's see, Melissa, Angelica, Chamomile, two of three Chamomiles, so... First, activate and Minerva skill. I soul blast one Chamomile. To preview the top card of my deck. Spiral Cutie. Into soul, and... So Chamomile skill, counter blast one, counter blast. Superior call to the rear guard. Call Chamomile to rear guard. I move Melissa to the front. Calling Cider to the rear guard. Call. And in my soul, I still have one more Melissa, so. Calling to the rear guard, a Dismal won't do much good, so I think it's gonna leave uh, that going straight to the battle phase. First, Melissa attacks the Vanguard, 13k! The attack fails. Next, boosted by Cider, Camille attacks the Vanguard, 23k! Guarding with heal trigger, 28k, attack blocked. And end of battle, Cider goes back to hand. Next, my Vanguard attacks the Vanguard. 18k, unboosted. Guarding by Perfect Guard. Perfect Guard cost, discarding a draw trigger. Twin drive for check. Yes, critical trigger. I give all effects to Vanguard. Critical up and power. Second check. No trigger, Angelica. Attack failed, but now here comes my Minerva skill. Counter blast one. Soul blast three. I soul blast Melissa and two chamomiles. Discarding a Genesis from hand. Discarding Angelica. Restand Vanguard. Minus one drive. The skills of the cards I soul blasted. Melissa. 
The pure call to back row. Call. Soul charge. Skills of the two chamomiles. Counterblast one. Counterblast. Superior call to the front row. Call. And one more time. Counterblast one. Superior call to the front row. Call. That ought to be enough. Next, boosted by Melissa. My Vanguard attacks the Vanguard. 36k. Two criticals. One drive. He tackles through. Drive check. Yes! Critical trigger! Critical to Vanguard. Power to the rear guard Melissa. I mean the rear guard Chamomile. Three damage to opponent. And... Boom! Damage check. No trigger. Persona ride. Six damage. I win. Uh, that was a pretty okay fight. I got to use the cards in this deck pretty okay and got to try out some of the new cards as well. So I got win, double critical, double trigger, six turns pass, did a superior call, and retired five or more opposing units. I got 1650 VP, total 336,975 VP. Pressing A to go next, leaving fight, returning to the fight menu. Back at the fight menu, leaving fight menu, going back to the main menu. On to the edit deck menu. With that, the deck's been built, card effects explained, and I just finished testing the deck out in front of you, so first I want to say is thank you to the viewers for watching today's video and to please stay tuned for more videos I plan to upload again in the near future. I also be able to show support by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my videos and channel. And with that, I say goodbye and see you all soon.